Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, welcome to another Let's Talk in this episode. Single player, that's right, single player. So, what I've been thinking of the last little while, uh, yesterday did a view, uh, or a video, on, uh, you know, PVE, or sorry, uh, where, you know, where it's a couple ideas obviously stolen from um, Armored Warfare, obviously, but, you know, things I'd like to see integrated into uh, Mercury Online. Which then I thought, well, single player, right? I mean, single player would be kind of fun. Um, how would they, like, how could they, they play, like, kind of slide in, um, you know, single player into the, into the game here? So, I thought about it. Not long, not hard, just thought about it. And I realized there's a couple ways they can do it. One, um... And this might be a multiple video, multiple part video, or just a long video. I don't know yet, but uh, bear with me. So, first part about it is, obviously, um, have the ability of the person to uh, have multiple different campaigns, meaning that have a generic campaign that changes month by month by month. Um, give it a different theme. You know, give it a different um, different feel every month. Um, we have multiple different factions. Lots of lore in the game. Uh, played it like that. Faction play, um, that map is huge. Tons of planets we can play around with. So, there you go. Um, in conjunction with that, what I would like to see possibly is a uh, dynamic campaign. Uh, meaning that every match you have, or every every mission, affects the next one. To a point where you have multiple outcomes. So, for example, on your first mission... Um, the game, like, you don't pick your mechs, for example. It tells you what mechs you're going to have, and you can personalize it from there. Um, but have different settings to your uh, to our to our campaign. So easy gives you the base, you know, the base rewards. Uh, medium, obviously, or or normal, sorry, um, will give you whatever rewards and hard and then elite and veteran and hardcore. Make it multiple different levels of of hardness. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, slight immaturity there on my end. <laughs> um, anyways, so make it so that it has diff diff se several difficulty levels. And then every month, have it change up a little bit. Um, but also have it, as I said, dynamic. What I mean by dynamic is where, in your first mission, um, it tells you you have to, you know, objective A, objective B, and objective C. Um, you know, objective C will be... You know, a secondary objective where it's not guaranteed, you don't have to do it, but it'll affect the next mission. And associated with that as well. Say if you only get objective A but not B and you technically lose the scenario. Campaign's not over. You get to continue. So for every scenario, there's a win and a loss scenario. There's a win and a loss. And that continues on. Um, if you keep losing, you'll go to the far right of the campaign. If it were to branch out like a tree. So, you know, start off and kind of go this way. If you win... Everything it immediately goes to the left. Um, and gets harder and, and all that stuff. Now, what happened is you get a multiple different outcomes. Depending on your outcome is your final reward, right? So every match gives you, you know, some C-bills, um, some MC maybe, experience, consumables. Hell, even a mech at the end. Uh, but either way, it, it counts up, right? It keeps going up higher and higher and higher as you progress through the, uh, the storyline. Now... All the missions pretty much are going to be the same. There's either the win scenarios, the loss scenarios, or the ones in between. There'll be branching ones to kind of get you back to the left a little further, or back to the right a little further. But if you lose, say, say you were the first four, but then lose one, you could never, ever, ever get that back and get the perfect ending. Um, we'll make pretty much all the endings, you know, it's pretty much, it's going to be good or bad. Very three very difficulties, three different levels of gin, and then three different levels of bad. Um, and have them affect something overall, right? Have them affect the next month's campaign for everybody. Uh, have it just a generic um, system in the background that just generates randomly a mission on one of the maps we already have. Um, so that it's, 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 it's very easy. Um, so that next month, when we have up the next scenario, it will look at it and go, well, okay, well, hold on. Um, last month, 50%, you know, f say 70% of people failed. This month, it's going to be a, a darker story. A darker campaign where you're trying to, you know, kind of 
make the wrongs of the last scenario, the last campaign, right. And have every campaign on a different planet. Um, which would be kind of good, right? Um, not only have the faction play map, but have the campaign map as well. Um, so you can sign up for a faction. Though the campaign for that month is the same, um, what will happen is that faction could gain or lose a planet. Um, it'll randomly pick a planet on the border and set up things like that. Which will then also bring into the mechs that you're going to be playing against will be generated by that faction. So you'll have sp faction-specific mechs per scenario. So there you go. Uh, it's just a quick little idea. And then every every little while as well, you have big events where for this month only, um, everyone in Intersphere, everyone on Clan, same campaign. It's going to be an Uber campaign. This is the outcome. If the Intersphere wins the campaigns, this is what they're going to get. If the Clan wins their campaigns, this is what they're going to get. Whoever has the highest winning percentage... Um, you know, wins, whatever. So that'd be kind of fun. That'd be kind of cool to watch and, and stuff like that. So that is just my little idea in regards to the integration of, of single player. Um, and then how it would end, obviously, is when you get, depending on the wins and the losses, um, you get, obviously, your rewards. So mech bays, MC, C bills, all that stuff. But my thing would be to have it so that it constantly rolls over every month. So every month is, it's a new campaign, but it's just automatically generated at the back end, so it's, it's more fun that way. Uh, that's an idea. But anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.